Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm doing another five minute book review because your girl can talk and I've already done a few of these today. So let's get on with it. Yes, yes, yes. Um, my name is Gabby if you haven't met me. I love to talk about books and do other fun things on this channel. If you like me, be sure to like, subscribe. If you don't, that's fine too, but let's get on with it. Today's five minute book review is on American Royals by Catherine McGee. <sighs> oh boy, <laughs> where do I start? Pretty much every single book that I've done in this five minute book review series has been something that I enjoy. And as much as I um, thought that I enjoyed this book, I've had time to ruminate on it. And I'm not a fan. We'll see. We'll get into that. So I'll give you a little synopsis. American Royals. It is what if America had royalty? We have Beatrice and her sister Samantha and Jeffrey. Samantha and Jeffrey and then we have Nina and we have Daphne. So the main characters that we're seeing it from the perspective is Beatrice, Samantha, Daphne, and Nina. Um, and so you have four different perspectives in this book but then you have a lot of a little other characters thrown in that you kind of need to keep track of but each chapter is focused on different people beatrice is the oldest of the family um it's beatrice and her sister samantha and her brother jeffrey that's in her family um beatrice is the oldest so she is first in line for the throne so she is to be queen um when and if her father passes away and um so they're grooming her to be queen. Uh, Princess Samantha is kind of like the wild child, but uh, her brother is also kind of like a wild child. And so she's kind of, because she doesn't have all that same um, expectations that her sister has, she's kind of stepped away. And her best friend is Nina Gonzalez, someone who has been friends with her since she was really little. So we have Nina's perspective. And then Daphne is um, the ex-girlfriend of Jeff and uh oh boy <laughs> anyways so i'm gonna include some spoilers here and there but i really liked this book the first time i read it and the reason why i really liked it is because the whole concept of it was really really creative and i like the different perspectives and then i read it again and i didn't like it as much and the reason for that is um because i had all these fun expectations and the book ends on a cliffhanger and the second one majesty just came out and my whole thinking is that this book doesn't matter anymore because that book spoiler i'm gonna give you a big fat spoiler this book makes it feel like it doesn't matter anymore because that second book completely changes everything so i cannot get attached to anything in this book and i realized that it was like a complete waste of time for me and it gets really frustrating because we built up all these relationships just to um change everything and i understand like when i was reading some of the reviews from other people they were saying like oh it's supposed to talk about how they were so young and free and wild and in the second book they have this like slap in the face where they realize they have to be adults and have this like coming of age kind of thing where they realize you have to do the things that you don't want to do um for the good of your family or yourself or your country or whatever and sometimes that means doing things that you're not happy about and i didn't like that <laughs> because as much as I want to read a book and I want to get lost in like that fun romance and happiness of the book and the world and it was like a little bit too serious for me. I wanted that like fun get lost in this world kind of feel and I was so concerned with Beatrice and all these things that she was doing and then and then their family and realizing that I hate Daphne. I also don't really like Beatrice. The only characters that I actually like are, I, I like Sam. <laughs> Nina's okay, Nina's fine. But I genuinely was not getting attached to anyone in this book because they were all irritating me at some point. So I believe I rated it first time like four stars, but now I think it's probably like a three for me. 
not my fave nothing against her i would still give it a chance if you're into that kind of thing but honestly <laughs> i'll probably just skip to the second book because yeah that's how i feel three stars it's fine i just i just was getting really frustrated and it wasn't the way that i wanted it to be and they all have these different stories you have to keep up with all this different stuff and like the concept of it was really really cool about america having a royal family and the princess beatrice being the first queen and like seeing her experience in relation to her younger sister who doesn't have the same sort of pressure that she had and i really enjoyed that but it wasn't it wasn't what i wanted it to be and as a reader like i have some sort of expectation of the book and it's not that i'm mad that i didn't meet that expectations it's just that i i, I wanted to have a little more fun and it wasn't that fun so don't fall okay that's it that's my five minute book review it's probably a little bit over five minutes but that's fine um i hope you have a wonderful rest of the day if you decide to try out this book let me know what you think in the comments i am totally down to chat about it also follow me on my instagram i have a book instagram as well i can link that below if you would like it's gabby's shelf gabby's shelf two s's on instagram Follow me there, I talk about my books, and um, I don't I don't love that account as much as my other one because my other one's much greatly loved. Okay, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I look forward to talking with you again soon. I will see you next week. Love you. Bye.